Hi friends! I don't know if you're familiar with the channel William Osman. Not Osman, like Donny Osmond. There's no D at the end. He normally has a really serious channel, but he has been pretty bored during quarantine and decided to grow out his beard and then he shaved a strip down the center so that he could use it as a Hot Wheels track. And he challenged other people to also grow their beards out and shave it the same way. And he said to send him photos, but he actually didn't say how to send it to him. So I'll just, I'll deal with that later. But I've been trying really hard to grow a beard. I've tried being more manly and like watching lots of sports and eating lots of meat. All I managed to get was just some like whiskers, uh, you know, that you like pluck out under your your chin. So uh, anyway, I figured I could give myself a pretty realistic looking beard so that I don't have to feel left out of the challenge. And I have a Hot Wheel to measure and make sure the track is the right size. Cause I don't want it to look stupid at the end. My husband offered to cut his hair and then let me stick his hair to my face but the thought kind of makes me gag a little bit. So instead, I have, well, first of all, some washable glue stick. And what I learned when I tried doing drag makeup is that you can put washable glue stick on your skin and nothing bad happens. So I'm going to hold the Hot Wheel on my face while I apply the glue. My husband shredded some documents and I could just kind of go for a a white beard and I might even end up with one of our social security numbers on my face and not know it. I would have liked it shredded a little more finely. That's that's okay. Okay so step one. Hold the Hot Wheel right there and apply some glue. I'll probably have to do a little patch at a time and Yeah. I, I might have to give it a little bit of a, a trim at the end. I feel like I'm going to have a nice kind of Gandalf look, you know? It's not really staying. Okay. So I'm just going to continue to move. outward I guess. I was going to use some moss from outside but it's wet and maybe not stay. You good? And should I do the mustache next? No. I'm not left-handed, so this is kind of the challenging part. And make sure you keep the Hot Wheel centered for those of you who are also uh, beard growing challenged. Still, all right. Gotta check your work every once in a while. Uh oh, you don't want glue in your hair. And if you want more of like a curly look, just kind of scrunch it, you know. Yeah, it's a pretty good technique. This, well, kind of started to pull some of my beard off my face. Um, oh dear. I think I need a little more in this territory. So again, scrunch. And just 
you know, glob it on there. It's a little bit uneven, but I noticed that William's beard is also a little bit uneven, so it's not that big of a deal. And I'm, I don't really plan on going anywhere. Okay, whoa, this is kind of, you want to get under here where the little whiskers are that I, that I pull out. You want to have a little bit of a neck beard. I think, yeah, when he was driving his, his Hot Wheels up his face, he had a little bit of a neck beard going on, but you don't, you don't want it on the center though. You want to make sure the track is clear. All right, let's test out the Hot Wheel again. All right, you see, I don't have any glue on either side. I want to bring it in a little bit. I want to keep it narrow. Make sure you're not moving too much into the middle. Because after this, you're going to spend hours driving your Hot Wheel on your face. I don't know if I should give it a trim or not, but uh, he also has a bit of a mustache. So you want to make a, a glue mustache and try to connect it, but make the mustache kind of thin and stupid. All right. Uh oh, oh I don't really like how that looked. All right. Give it a bit of a curl. Again, you know, scrunch it and okay, you see, I still have enough space to run the Hot Wheel all the way down and up. Oh no. I'm going to get my scissors and give it a little bit of a trim because William's beard isn't quite this wild. Hang on. So if you have a braid or a ponytail, you need to move it back so you don't accidentally cut it off while you're trimming your very manly beard. And It's important to trim it because you don't want it like hanging in your soup or anything. Okay. I almost ruined it. This is when my husband comes upstairs and sees a mess everywhere and says, were you making a video? Whenever there's anything weird going on in the house, I made a video. If barber shops were open right now, I would just have them do this so I could make it look better and more professional. And I feel like cutting off some of the length will make it stick to my face better. Oh, I shed all over. care of that. There's paper everywhere. Like it didn't stay in the bowl. Okay. Got a couple wild hairs. Take care of that. A little bit longer on one side. Do I have enough neck beard? Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. He didn't say it had to be perfect. And now I need to take some photos to send to him and we'll probably spend most of the day tomorrow 
trying to track down his email address or Instagram or something. I don't really know what he's on besides YouTube. You guys should subscribe to his channel and also do the beard challenge. You can probably order Hot Wheels on Amazon if you don't have any. Thanks so much for watching and for not unsubscribing while you watched me stick paper to my face. Grrrr.